afternoon, everyone. I'm the Backcountry Prepper. Welcome back. This is episode number 30. Uh, if you like what you hear, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe as well. Uh, today's topic is going to be prepper groups, how to find them, uh, how to become a part of one or join one. Uh, I found today, and I actually joined myself um, on a website called preppergroups.com. And uh, it's a real easy registration. You just put your screen name and your email address and pretty, pretty much get on there and, and talk to other people um, that are in your neck of the woods. And for the most part, I thought I was all alone out here in uh, East San Diego, but apparently there's a few other guys that uh, actually I just emailed on there. Hopefully they'll get back to me uh, here in my neck of the woods, actually, here uh, out in the rural areas of San Diego. So I'm hoping they get a hold of me. Again, that's PrepperGroups.com if you're looking to join a group or to start a group. And I, I think there's benefits to both sides. If you live in a rural area or an area where there's not a lot of like-minded people, you may want to consider starting your own group, uh, just posting on that website or if there's any other like websites to post on there and to see if uh, you can attract like-minded people to get in contact with. Uh, starting a group is a great thing. Taking the initiative and uh, having some leadership skills is is definitely going to benefit you as well. Uh, joining a group, I have no problem joining a group if there's one that I feel are doing things in a productive way, in my opinion. Uh, you got to remember, at the end of the day, if you are part of these groups or you join the group or you, you create your own group, when the crap hits the fan... That's going to be your family. Those are going to be the people that have your back, and you have to have their back as well. So you want to make sure you get along with them. Uh, of course, there's going to be bumped heads. There's going to be um, uh, discussions or, or things that people aren't going to agree with uh, with everybody in the group. That's to be expected. The most important part is how do you overcome, how do you uh, uh, create a situation where you can agree to disagree and move on. I'm hoping to find people that are like me or, or similar to me since I get along fine with me. But uh, we'll, we'll see what, what happens. Again, that's preppergroups.com if you want to take a look at it. Um, the posts that I did read there that are from people in my area, uh, they seem to be just just like me. Um, and uh, I think they see the necessity of uh, having a group situation. If you want to go back, if you haven't seen it already, uh, I made a video a month or two back talking about uh, prepper groups versus lone wolves, and it talks about my stance on what I think is the most beneficial. I personally feel that a group of like-minded preppers is the strongest unit you can have versus a lone wolf or a commune situation or a community situation with hundreds of people. I think a smaller group of maybe five to ten families uh, in a group. And as, if you watch that video, I, I still stand firm on the fact that I think every group, for the amount of people there are, half of that group should be uh, physically, emotionally uh, capable of supplying some needed benefit to the group. What do I mean by that? If you have... Again, 30 people, 15 of those should be able to hunt, fish, trap, garden, build, repair. They, ha they have to have a, a skill set or benefit for the whole group. So one for one. So that will take in, in consideration elderly or handicapped or children. So uh, I think it's it's one and one. I may be a little bit too conservative there, but uh, that that's my thought on it. So I, I feel that a prepper group of like-minded people that have skill sets is the best situation in an emergency scenario. So that being said, again, I hope this, this uh, website pans out and I, I meet some cool people. Uh, and if, if you can, if you like, please comment below. If you found any other websites similar to this where, where preppers or homesteaders or somewhere they can, they can meet and, uh, kind of discuss ideas or or go through different uh, training exercises together or whatever, anything that they can do to benefit each other. I would love to check out more websites like that. 
But uh, again, preppers, preppergroup.com. Uh, I hope I hope uh, some people get back to me. There are quite a few, it seems, uh, here in my neck of the woods, actually, which is kind of surprising to me. So I'm glad to see that. And again, I, I think it's necessity. There's no way uh, myself or, or the people that I have currently here uh, can withstand a whole lot since there's just not enough people. So that's what I'm hoping to get is some more like-minded people to kind of join forces with. And if all else fails, you know, someone else to learn from. I'm kind of winging this myself. I have learned a lot of different things here on YouTube with different channels. Um, and I would definitely suggest everybody check out my subscription list who I subscribe to. There's some really, really good guys out there. So anyways, uh, check out the website, the, uh, uh, preppergroups.com. And if you have a suggestion of similar websites, you could throw at me. That'd be great. Um, otherwise, uh, I don't want to make this video too long. I'm going to upload it right now. And, uh, if, you want to comment or let me know what your opinion is on prepper groups versus lone wolves or prepper groups versus large communities. Uh, let me know. I'm always willing to learn. So uh, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe again and please give us a thumbs up. I'm the Backcountry Prepper, Prep and Thrive. Hooray!